Fort Nightmares is almost here and we finally got our first look at what we can expect to happen this year. Last night's update revealed some new collabs, new Halloween skins, map updates, and not one but two live events, so let's talk about it. This Fort Nightmares we can expect to get some pretty awesome skins, but let's be honest, Fortnite doesn't really miss when it comes to Halloween skins. Last year we got Michael Myers, Jack Skellington, and Alan Wake, and it looks like they will be one-upping themselves this year because Billy the Puppet will be coming to the game. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, Billy the Puppet is from the Saw series. And along with a skin, we will be getting a mythic as well with the collab. It will be an explosive mythic called Boom Billy. The mythic will spawn a Billy bike with 100 HP and it will follow a target and explode once it's close to a player. But the best part is the target player will hear, do you want to play a game? The famous line from the Saw movies. I don't know about you, but I feel like that's going to creep me out a little when I randomly hear that in a game. Along with Billy the Puppet, we will be getting Leatherface from the Texas Chain on massacre movies this one was really unexpected i'm not gonna lie i thought we were gonna get jason or maybe ghostface but i'm really hoping we get some sort of chainsaw mythic but so far that doesn't seem likely but the fort nightmares collabs don't stop there because it has also been leaked that we will be getting a wave two of nightmare before christmas skins this season we will be getting pumpkin king and sally so expect to see jack skellington return to the item shop this month we will also be getting another style for marshmallow and like i mentioned earlier we're sadly not getting a jason skin this fort nightmares even though they teased us quite a bit leading up to October and since it is a Marvel season we assumed we would get a Marvel skin for Fort nightmares and it will be none other than Mephisto which makes sense since the devil himself has been heavily teased throughout this season Mephisto will also have an NPC on the island that can gift you a weapon if you offer 20 of your health if you offer 40 health you will receive an augment it's almost like they should have just kept augments in the game and you can bargain with Mephisto by offering 99 of your health and your whole squad gets rebooted me personally I'm still holding Holding out for some Marvel zombie skins but it is looking unlikely right now. Now Fortnite has always cooked when it's come to their original designs for Fort Nightmares skins. In the Fort Nightmares key art you can see a pumpkin knight, Lexa as a witch, a phantom guff skin similar to the Meow School skin that we got last year, and after a few years of waiting we finally got more cube skins. And they will be Dark Ruby and Nightmare. Definitely getting Nightmare as soon as it's released in the shop. We will also be getting a Shadow Monk skin and last but not least Zane, our level up quest pack skin now let's talk about the live events that are coming up so make sure you have no plans this saturday because at 2 p.m eastern there will be a live event if you do miss it don't worry you can watch my reaction to the event on my channel i'll make sure that's uploaded as soon as possible doom will finally make his appearance on the island and it's rumored that he will have a huge battle against hope and the rest of the heroes there is a timer on the map right now that leads up to the event and it will take place in this area by reckless railways apparently this event will mess up a few locations which we will get into shortly Throughout chapter 5 we have gotten one mini live event every season, but in season 4 we will also be getting a larger live event at the end of the season which will lead us to chapter 2 OG. So far what we know is it will have 6 phases in a black hole, then we will have another event at the end of chapter 2 OG that will lead into chapter 6, which means that there is a good chance that the zero point will be returning some point soon. Now with the event on Saturday we can expect some map changes to take place after the event. This is supposed to be a huge battle that will lead to destruction of some of the POIs, Starting with Brawler's Battleground, it looks like on the key art, a giant pumpkin could arrive there, and vines that we grind on will return. I'm not sure how much of the map these vines will cover, but I'm sure they will lead to Mount Olympus, or at least close to it. So it sounds like Brawler's Battleground could be the main rifting location that brings in all of the skins we talked about earlier, and the giant pumpkin you see on the key art. A couple other locations that could potentially be affected by the event are Grand Glacier and Restored Reels, so expect a pumpkin reality to be at those locations as well, because those three locations will have damaged beacons at the end of the event. We will also be getting six new landmarks, but I'm not quite sure what those will look like yet. One of them could potentially be in the middle of the map where the lake has completely dried up. But what I'm really hoping for on the map is fog and Halloween decorations. I feel like fog and the Halloween aesthetic all around the map is what makes Fort Nightmares so special. Gameplay wise, it looks like the pumpkin launcher and the wood stake shotgun will be returning and the horde rush LTM will most likely return as well. But that just about wraps up everything we know about Fort Nightmares so far. Now keep in mind there should be one more small update before Fort Nightmares actually begins. That should be around October 11th so I'm sure there is still more to come. But let me know in the comments if you are hyped for Fort Nightmares. Also be sure to join my discord for October giveaways that I will be starting up. The link will be in the description to my server. Also you can become a channel member if you would like to support me even further. And if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and use code Spider in the item shop. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!